Hey guys, it's Scar, and we are going to go over the closest thing I've ever come to putting out a ganker build on my channel. I'm excited. I'm sorry in advance. It hits really hard, and I love it so much. It's actually a lot of fun, and I really hope that you guys enjoy. Uh, also, we are about 50 subs away from that 5k mark, so please, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. We are almost about to hit 5k, and I couldn't be more excited, so please go do that. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. All right, guys, let's get started. First things first, we're going to look at our character sheet. We definitely want to be a Khajiit on our Nightblade. My, in my opinion, Khajiit has been the best in slot race for all Nightblades for as long as I can remember at this point. The crit damage you get on that is absolutely massive, and I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. Our attributes are going to be 52 points into magic, 4 points into health, and 8 points into stamina to give us a max magic pool of 24.1k a max health pool of 30.2k, and a max stand pool of 17.3k. Also unbuffed, our magic recovery is at 1304, and our stamina recovery is at 1441. So that's without our tripods that we use. So honestly, that's some really good sustain in my opinion. And then our Mundus is going to be the warrior to increase our weapon damage as much as possible. And then we're also going to be using Vampire Stage 3 to increase our tankiness at lower health. That undeath passive from Vampire is massive. It is 30% reduced damage taken the lower health you are. So that is really good for your tankiness. And then as always, Orzogus Smoke the Bear Hunch to increase our max health by 4,300. And our stamina and magic recovery by 369 for two hours. And as I say in every single build video nowadays, if you cannot afford that because on PCNA it is obscenely expensive. Use the Jewels of Miserable food. You lose 300 health and then 12 magic and stamina recovery. I just use our Zorgos because I'm just a sucker for mid-maxing. Jewels is just as good. You're not really missing that much, I promise. Our gear is going to break down like this. We're going to be using one piece of Balorg in a heavy reinforced helmet. That way we can get that one line of weapon and spell damage. If you're having a tough time sustaining, which I really don't think that there's sustain issues on this build in the slightest, just use a heavy magma incarnate helmet instead. That'll give you a line of uh, stamina and magic recovery. But overall, I think the recovery is fine on this. And I definitely recommend using this to increase your overall weapon and spell damage. One of our two five piece sets is going to be Ashen Grip. So we're going to be using medium divine shoulders. Ashen Grip is going to give us line of max health, weapon and spell damage, crit chance, and then when you deal martial melee damage, you breathe fire to all enemies in front of you for 5,000 damage, 5,000 flame damage, and that can occur once every four seconds. So that is just great extra sustained damage overall. When you're coming out of uh, stealth and then you're hitting somebody with a heavy attack and concealed combo, you're hitting them for the Ashen Grip as well, and that is just such extra damage. I love it so much. Then also we're going to be using heavy Ashen Grip Reinforced Chest Piece, medium Ashen Grip Hands in Divines, medium Ashen Grip hand and uh, Belt in Divines, I can't even speak today, and then heavy Ashen Grip Greaves in Reinforced as well. That way we're doing our biggest pieces, our legs, our chest, and our helmet in heavy uh, Reinforced. That way we can increase our armor as much as possible so we are semi-tanky. And then our other five piece set is going to be Kalerians. Kalerians is going to be our light armor set. It's going to be in Divines as well. I know what a lot of you are gonna say, oh, but Kalerians was uh, nerfed. Why are you still running it? Uh, because it's really good as a combo with both that and Ashen Grip. The extra damage you get from both of them simultaneously is kind of nuts, honestly. So we're gonna be using Kalerians in Divines. Clearance is going to give us a line of crit chance, weapon and spell damage, another line of crit chance, and when you deal critical damage with a light or heavy attack, you launch a projectile at your target that deals either 6,000 flame, frost, shock, or disease damage, and then it could also apply the respective status effect. So that's phenomenal. Uh, that is an extra little bit of source of sustained damage. If you're hitting somebody with a clearing and an ashen grip at the same time, that's a lot of damage comboed with a heavier light attack from you, also comboed with a concealed weapon, an ink cap, a bow proc, whatever it is. It is a lot of extra sustained damage. I really like it a lot. Our jewelry is going to be a infused Clearian's necklace in the weapon and spell damage enchantment, because that's awesome, and a, a stamina recovery part of that glyph as well. And then also, we're going to be a one bar build on this. We're doing Oaken Soul for the first time in about, I think it's over a year at this point. Uh, Oaken Soul is a one bar setup, so you cannot switch to your back bar at all. 
And so while equipped, you're unable to swap between your primary and back bar weapon sets, but you gain, uh, get ready for the list. Minor Berserk, Minor Courage, Major Brutality, Major Sorcery, Major Prophecy, Major Savagery, Minor Force, Minor Protection, Major Resolve, Minor Mending, Minor Forge. You guys get it. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Anyway, you guys get it. Uh, it's very strong on a build like this. You're just hitting so hard, and I really do like it a lot. It was a lot of fun using this today, and I definitely recommend it. I know a lot of you are like, oh, Oak and Soul got nerfed too, but honestly, it still feels pretty strong in certain situations. So I definitely recommend trying this out for yourself and seeing uh, how it feels. Also, the other ring is going to be a Calerian's uh, ring with a weapon spell damage enchantment with the stamina recovery, and I have mine in the Swift trait. I have mine in the Swift trait for one main reason, um, I don't even know how to look at this with a PC UI. Uh, so I'll just do it on my controller UI. I've got 78 transmute crystals left, and I was scared to change it. Uh, I don't have that many transmutes left. Swift is a, uh, it, it felt, the build felt really strong with a swift ring. I feel like you'll hit even harder with an infused or a bloodthirsty one. But overall, honestly, the swift felt kind of nice to get in and out of situations. So, Give it a shot. I definitely recommend the Swift. It was a lot of fun. And then our weapons are going to be dual-wield Calerian's maces. That way we can get our pen up as much as possible. Our main hand is going to be Nernhoned with a shock damage enchantment on it. And our offhand is going to be sharpened with a disease enchantment on it. And then finally onto our skills. We only need to go through one line of skills here. Our main spammable is going to be Concealed Weapon because Concealed Weapon is a broken skill and I love it so much. The spammable on this hits very, very, very hard. You're going to be hitting for 10,000 damage. Also, if you strike an enemy from their flank, you set them off balance, which is very nice because then you could CC them. And also, when you leave Sneak Invisibility and Major Expedition, uh, your damage is increased by 10%. So you have stealth on this build. So you are going to be uh, proccing that 10% very, very, very often. And also, while slotted, you get Minor Expedition, increasing your movement speed by 15%. So that is huge. Like, that, that's so many different uh, abilities or passives stacked into one ability. It's awesome. And then Shadowy Disguise. We're going to be going invisible on this build. We're going to be a little rat, and I love it. It's so much fun. And then it's going to be guaranteed after you're invisible that your next damage within three seconds is going to be a critical strike. So that is awesome. And then Resolving Vigor, this is going to be your main 5 second heal over time. This is going to get you back to full health pretty quickly because you have a nice tooltip on this. As well as giving you Minor Resolve, increasing your physical and spell resistance by 3k for 20 seconds. And then Healthy Offering, this is going to be your burst heal. You've got a tooltip of 16.4k health, which is insane. That's such a high tooltip. And also after that, you're going to get Minor Mending for 10 seconds. Increasing your healing done by 8%, so it's going to increase the de the healing on your Resolving Vigor as well, and also your next healthy offering after that too, so that's huge. And then finally, Merciless Resolve, the most broken ability in the game. You really can't argue with me on this, it is just fact. Uh, after you do 5 light attacks, you're going to be able to hit somebody with a bow proc, which is going to be, my tooltip is 21,000 damage. So, if you're hitting somebody for 21,000, that is insane. Plus, on top of that, you're also getting the Calerians and the Ashen Grip proc as well. It is just insane. It's 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 broken. Uh, I think it should be fixed, but I mean, it's still in the game. So here we are. And then Incapacitating Strike is going to be our ultimate. This is a very cheap ultimate. It's only 76, and it's going to give you a tooltip of 16.4k disease damage. And then also, if you have 120 ultimate or more. You're, you're going to be able to stun your enemy as well. So if you get that stun on them, hit them with that in-cap bow proc with the Ashen Grip and Clearance combo, you are just deleting people. I love it so much. And then finally onto our champion points, our blue slotables are going to be Deadly Aim, Mastered Arms, Focus Mending, and Fighting Finesse. Our red slotables are going to be Pain's Refuge, Sustained by Suffering, Celerity, and Survival Instincts. Our green slotables are going to be Rationer, Liquid Efficiency, Sustaining Shadows. This is actually very important on this build because you're going to be in stealth a lot. So for once, we're actually going with more than just the regular green slotables. And then I like Steed's Blessing for the add to come movement speed. But also make sure you have Breakfall in your passives as well. And then also Out of Sight helps a lot as well. It reduces the radius uh, that you can be detected while sneaking by one meter per stage. That's three meters overall. And also... Fleet Phantom is pretty strong as well. It reduces the movement speed of penalty of sneak by 5% per stage. So overall, it's 25%. So honestly, 
For Nightblade, that is very, very, very huge. Definitely don't forget to put those in. And that is the entire build, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. I don't usually put builds together like this, but honestly, it was a lot of fun to do. And I've gotten to the point in the game where I just want to have fun with it. I want to post fun builds. I don't want to always post like a super meta build every week that's going to be like, oh, if you're not running this, you're not running the best build ever. I really just want to put more fun builds out there because I just I wanted to have more fun with the game. I, for the longest time, I was taking the game way too seriously. I was like, wow, I need to put the strongest build out there. No exceptions. But guys, we're just going to be having fun from now on. And I hope that you guys are uh, on board with that because that's what I really want to do. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. It's free and we're almost at that 5K sub mark. So guys, please, 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 please. Also, one last thing. If, uh, if you want to see this build live in action or builds like this, you can catch me live at twitch.tv forward slash car where I stream five days a week. I usually stream Saturday through Wednesday. So come stop by. I usually stream all day during the day. So come stop by. Say what's up. So that is it from me. I hope that you guys enjoy and I will see you guys on the next video. Later.